this is kind of a new setup. It's not the official setup, still working on it, but let me know in the comments what parts of it you like, what you don't. I don't think I'm going to continue advertising that I graduated because obviously I did. I don't know. I mean, weird. Anyways. Hey y'all, it's Becky here from The Becky Sphere and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Becky and every Monday and Thursday, but not this Thursday because this Thursday is New Year's Eve, we talk about the climate here. The problems, yes, but the solutions, yes. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, go ahead and click that subscribe button below, hit the like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And today we are going to talk about, we are going to do what could be a new segment, we'll see, called the climate recap. What happened this year? Oh boy, a lot happened this year. That's why this video is late because there is a lot to break down. <laughs> so one of the reasons why it took so long for me to do this is because um, I kind of expected other news organizations to do it already. And they kind of did it, but not to the level I was hoping for. So I had more work on my hands than I expected. My procrastinating brain was like, ah, you know, it's fine. You're gonna, you're gonna have a bunch of help from other sources and the research is gonna be easy. You're not gonna dive deep into any of those topics. No problem. Mm. Never listen to your procrastinating brain. But I always do. So that was, um, a mistake but then when I got into it uh, what I did was I ended up using the tools section on Google and looking at the uh, search results for the first 10 pages of each month and then also the first five pages of the new segment for each month so then my scientific analytical journalistic whatever you call it brain went off on a tangent. So I have a very big list for each of those months and um, I hope you find it interesting. I actually found it fascinating because it's quite a compilation of different things. Now warning, even though this channel is working on becoming more solutions based and not depressing, humanity still needs to do a lot. <laughs> and um, so some months were better than others and other months were just kind of like natural disaster after natural disaster. So just to let you know, it might be a little depressing at points, but I promise it will be informative. So please continue if you feel like you are okay to do so. And just to review, if I am looking over that side, that's where my notes are because there's a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. January, disastrous bushfires raged across Australia and Lake Michigan flooded parts of Chicago. President Trump gave the green light for oil companies to drill in the pristine Alaska Arctic wildlife res refuge for the first time ever. He also worked to weaken the National Environmental Protection Act. Microsoft announced that it plans to go carbon negative by 2030 while Amazon threatens workers who speak out about their policies or lack thereof regarding climate change. January 2020 became the hottest January on in recorded history. February. Climate change is shown to be altering what places wine grows best, though it also suggests that an increased level of diversity will help sustain the wine industry. Another study finds that the extreme heat waves have been killing off the bumblebee population. The Center for Climate and Security published a threat assessment which warned that climate change will increase political instability in parts of the Middle East and Africa as well as increase migration in parts of Europe and the Americas due to an increase in sea level rise and extreme weather events. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development held its first climate change ta task force meeting and Jeff Bezos announced his uh, $10 billion climate fund. March. Oregon governor signs an executive order to decrease the amount of greenhouse gas emissions in the state amidst Republican pushback. 
the World Meteorological Organization published a multi-agency assessment that determined the growing signs of climate change. The Trump administration rolls back auto emission standards. As COVID becomes a pandemic, we know it today, there is more lines drawn in the news media regarding the connection between climate change and pandemics and also comparing the global response to COVID-19 and the lack thereof of climate change. Some argue that COVID will actually be benefit the climate change movement. Others argue it will push it further behind. There is also a growing interest in the connection between climate change and public health. A British study finds that one in five UK children have nightmares regarding climate change. April. More online educational programs regarding climate change appear as students move inside to continue their studies. The world celebrates the 50th anniversary of Earth Day through virtual meetings and socially distanced marches and events. The UN announced a delay to the international climate meeting that was supposed to be in November. May. A heavy rain season floods uh, Lake Michigan, causing two dams to fail and 10,000 people having to evacuate their homes. Meanwhile, less rainfall is reported in the Mediterranean. Several California cities issue lawsuits against the oil industry for their role in climate change. And a new study published by Science reports that climate change is stunting the growth and lifespan of trees around the world. May 2020 becomes the hottest May in recorded history, with 2020 already being on track for, for one of the hottest years in recorded history. June. A Pew Research study shows that two-thirds of Americans think the government needs to do more in regards to climate change. A new study in Nature reports how the South Pole has warmed over the last three decades. Siberia hits 100 degrees Fahrenheit as the Arctic Circle warms fast. Amazon announces its $2 billion climate fund. A report finds that the 100-year flood zone in the U.S. is growing and many homeowners don't realize that they are in that flood zone. Research shows that climate change increases risk in pregnancy, particularly in minority groups. New Jersey becomes the first state to add climate change to its K-12 educational standards. Minnesota Attorney General sues ExxonMobil and the American Petroleum Institute for misleading the public on climate change. July. Apple announces its products will be carbon neutral by 2030. China and Japan report intense rainstorms causing severe flooding. Irish citizens win a case against their government to do more regards to climate change. The Arctic catches fire due to extreme heat waves. Russia accidentally spills oil as it attempts to expand its reach through the melting Arctic permafrost. Major wildfires burn across the west coast and in the Amazon, and the hurricane season starts strong in the Atlantic. Europe sets new heat wave records, and Arizona is already on track for its 144 days of above 100 degree weather. A quarter of Bangladesh floods. August. Death Valley reaches 130 degrees, the highest recorded since at least 1931. Greenland breaks its own records for the amount of ice melt in a year. Wildfires in California and Colorado break state records. About a half a million people are forced to evacuate along the Gulf Coast due to Hurricane Laura. A new report shows that climate change will cost uh, $1 billion for many states per year. MCSI launches two climate change indexes for Chinese investors to prioritize lower emission companies. Many news organizations look more closely at how climate change disproportionately impacts people of color. ExxonMobil is removed from the Dow Jones Industrial Average and oil and gas industries drop to the lowest component of the S&P 500. September. With 10 hurricanes being named this month, the hurricane season breaks its 1916 record, causing scientists to move from the English alphabet to Greek letters. Five hurricanes hit Louisiana in this season alone. Extreme weather events 
spark youth climate marches worldwide. Portuguese youth file a lawsuit against 33 European countries through the European Court of Human Rights. Charleston, South Carolina sues fossil fuel industries for their role in climate change. Michigan governor signs an executive order to move its state towards carbon neutrality by 2050. Facebook launches its climate change information center, which combines data and information from sources such as the IPCC, NOAA, the WMO, and other climate change organizations. It is currently only available in the U.S., France, Germany, and the U.K. The company also commits to eliminating emissions in its secondary supply chain and value chain by 2030. China announces it will hit its peak emissions level at 2030 to become carbon neutral by 2060. Island nation leaders plead with the rest of the world to take climate change seriously as the ocean starts to swallow up their nations. California governor signs an executive order to ban the sale of new fossil fuel powered cars by 2035. The Trump administration's Commodity Futures Trading Commission issued a report concluding extreme weather events will threaten the U.S. financial markets from insurance to mortgaged pension funds. September 2020 becomes the hottest month in recorded history worldwide. October. The world's largest tropical wetland located across Brazil, Paraguay, and Bolivia catches fire. Newly appointed Supreme Court Justice Amy Cohen Barrett considers climate change a controversial issue. The UN framework for climate change breaks down how climate change will impact the African continent. California governor signs an executive order to conserve 30% of the state's lands and coastal waters by 2030. The banking company JP Morgan Chase announces that it will align its financial portfolio with the 2015 Paris Climate Accord. However, it gives no particular deadline for this announcement. David Attenborough and Prince William join forces to create the Earthshot Prize, which they hope will become the Nobel Peace Prize of Environmentalism. Japan announces it will become carbon neutral by 2050. The European Union's Parliament voted in favor of a legally binding target to cut greenhouse gas emissions in the European Union by 60% by 2030. Joe Biden campaigns hard on the issue of climate change for the upcoming U.S. presidential election. November. The U.S. formally exits the Paris Climate Accord. A study reveals that hurricanes are lasting longer on land due to climate change. The UK becomes the first country to require large companies, financial institutions, and regulated pension funds to disclose climate change impacts by 2025. The virtually held G20 summit focuses its second day on climate change, the first being on the pandemic. The U.S. Federal Reserve adds climate change to its list of risk factors for financial stability. Joe Biden is announced as U.S. President-elect, pivoting the U.S. away from four more years of climate inaction. A new database shows that Arctic animals are changing their behavior to adapt to climate change. The Dalai Lama promotes vegetarianism as an important way to curb climate emissions. NASA launches a new satellite from California to measure sea level rise worldwide. The Trump administration removes a top scientist in charge of overseeing the National Climate Assessment. Hurricanes Iota and Eta remind us that the hurricane season is not over. Hurricane Iota becomes a Category 5, the first to be seen since 1932. And now we're going to be down at Rue's level because I'm sure everybody could use a shot of a fur baby after this list. December. U.S. President-elect Joe Biden announces his climate cabinet. Cambridge, Massachusetts becomes the first city to require warning labels on gas pumps warning consumers of its impact on climate change. The U.S. spending bill called the COVID relief bill, includes $35 billion of 
funds for the next five years to promote clean energy and to, to remove hydrofluorocarbons from daily use. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, and also pyrosomes are back um, due to increased heat waves in the ocean. Okay, now I think that's it. <sighs> so, a lot happened this year. And I don't even know if the list of sources for this will be able to show up on the description below, which kind of reminds me that I need to make a website. So, coming soon to screens near you. If I missed anything, which I'm sure I did, please go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you find this interesting and you find my face not horrible, then go ahead and click that subscribe button, but no pressure. And I will see you guys next Monday in the year 2021. Say bye, Rue. That's as good as you're getting. Bye.